Unlike the previous program, we are setting a course with specific and achievable milestones. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. We're still using the same uh, models for space travel that we used with the Apollo program 30, 40 years ago. Let's start thinking about what's the next horizon. But, but in order to do that, we're actually going to need some technological breakthroughs uh, that we don't have yet. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and it's a painful process to build it back again. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. The plan that NASA has is to build a heavy lift rocket and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No, now I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. Neil, hey, hey, out of me, out of me, that's not sight. Uh, I remember seeing any. Neil, you were, uh, I remember seeing any. Neil, you were, uh, I don't remember seeing any. But, uh, she's got it stiff. Now, this is what your hair would do in zero G freely move. Not stiff as a board like we see on the right here. This is hairspray. This looks exactly like what we see on the ISS. You have a whole series of O-rings in here and a shaft that you rotate. So, it, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven. Because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, 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 and you, what you would do you is... You lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then uh, there's probably a plan, I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan.